Fairborn, Wales, like many others who came to Fairborn, Stuart Eves decided the coastal village in northern Wales would be home for life when he moved here 26 years ago. He fell in love with a peaceful, slow pace of small village life in this community of about 700 residents nestled between the rugged mountains and the Irish Sea. I wanted somewhere my children can have the same upbringing as I had, so they can run free, said Eves, 72, who built a caravan park I. You've got the sea, you've got the mountains. It's just a stunning place to live. That changed suddenly in 2014, when authorities identified Fairborn as the first coastal community in the UK to be at high risk of flooding due to climate change. Predicting faster sea level rises and more frequent and extreme storms due to global warming, the government said it could only afford to keep defending the village for another 40 years. Officials said that by 2054, it would no longer be safe or sustainable to live in Fairborn. Authorities therefore have been working with villagers on the process of so-called managed realignment, essentially, to move them away and abandon the village to the encroaching sea. Overnight, house prices in Fairborn nosedived. Residents were dubbed the U. K first climate refugees. Many were left shocked and angry by national headlines declaring their whole village would be decommissioned. Seven years on, most of their questions about their future remain unanswered. They've doomed the village, and now they've go. That's 450 houses, said Eves, who serves as chair of the local community council. If they want us out by 2054, then they've got to have the accommodation to put us in. No one here wants to leave. While many are retirees, there are also young families raising a next generation. Locals speak proudly of their tight-knit community. And although the village center only consists of a grocer's, a fish and chip shop and a couple of restaurants, residents say the pebbly beach and a small steam train draw bustling crowds in the summer. Natural Resources Wales, the government-sponsored organization responsible for the sea defenses in Fairborn, said the village is particularly vulnerable because it faces multiple flooding risks. Built in the 1850s on a low-lying salt marsh, Fairborn already lies beneath sea level at high spring tide. During storms, the tidal level is more than 1.5 meters, 5 feet, above the level of the village. Scientists say you. KC levels have risen about 10 centimeters, 4 inches, in the past century. Depending on greenhouse gas emissions and actions that governments take, the predicted rise is 70 centimeters to 1 meter by 2100. Fairborn is also at the mouth of an estuary, with additional risks of flash floods from the river running behind it. Officials have spent millions of pounds in strengthening a seawall and almost 2 miles of tidal defenses.